So let's talk a bit about technique. Sealer. When you have in the right amount of sealer, you have in way too much sealer. When you think you have far too little sealer, you have the right amount. Why? Because you'll be creating the best, tightest seal you've ever created before. More gutta percha than ever before. More gutta percha means less sealer required. Okay? So there's definitely learning curve here. Really try to limit the amount of sealer. You do not need a tremendous amount of sealer. You need very, very little. How do I know when I feel I have the right amount of sealer? When I put the sealer in and I take out with paper points, typically not one paper point, but one, look at it, another, look at it, and it looks like there's very little or no sealer coming back out, and I look in the canal under the microscope and it looks like there's just a very small, small amount inside, that's what I think is the right amount. So a very small amount of sealer required in order to use this technique. You want to pull out any excess. So placing sealer in with a paper point into the mesial buccal canal. Just a little bit of pumping action. We do want to move it around. I do want to coat the entire canal surface if possible. And then with a series of paper points, I'm going to bring that back out. And it should look pretty clean. Same thing then in the mesial lingual canal. And I would go just a little bit more there. I would check out just a wee bit more than what the video shows. And now the same thing in the distal. But you can see the effort that's made to coat the entire canal surface, even though that's quite a bit now, and now pulling more out. And again, I would blot off that extra at the orifice level. Final shape. I said it's mandatory that you have enough shape in order to be able to place the carrier where it needs to go. If you don't have the shape, and I can't emphasize this enough, it's not going to go. You can't force it down. You can't cheat the technique. So I suggest that you have at least a 2506 shape. You don't need that. You can get there with a 2504 shape. But if it's a 2504 shape, it's likely going to be a size 20 carrier. So if you're using an instrumentation technique that's an 04 taper, the size that you create at the apex with your instrument will likely be one size bigger than the carrier that will go comfortably to the working length. So if it's a 3004, it's likely going to be a size 25 carrier. The, the carriers themselves come in size 20 to 90, so you do have a lot of flexibility in size. Okay? So it's really important that you have the shape. I can't emphasize it enough. But if you're committed to doing wave one shapes, you have it. That's sort of the joy of this and how it all fits and works together.